follow me and go order it um, by when? 518. 518. <laughs> Rich Walt Taylor, Russ Frank, is Lee. Lee is not zooming in. Not. She is not. Okay. And Ari Luke's here. All right. So, what do we start with? Want to do the formalities of approving the minutes and then? Yeah, let's approve the minutes. Is there many? Is there much mail? And no, there's some invoices, um, but that's about it. Okay. All right. Have you did you read the minutes, George? Yes, the ones that were posted online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Seem fine. Seem fine to me. So, Any I'll move. Do we approve minutes? All right. I'll second it. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Both of us. Okay. okay. Well, it's up to you, Mr. Chair, where we continue. <laughs> where we continue. Yeah. Well, go here. Okay. We'll, we'll, Shall I? I, I don't know whether that's, this, yeah. is, this is totally out of the blue. Yeah, it's it's, it's totally not on the agenda, high, but so. that's okay, because that, that happens. And that's my bad, because we talked so long ago that... Well, not... this has been dragging on since 2000 and twenty-one. Oh. Yes, twenty-one. Five something twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, slide over this way a little bit so you're not banging anything. Yeah. Okay. So, me? So, yeah, I guess. Okay. You, yeah. I'm... So, on, the, on with my bill of um, uh, here it is 512.21, my, the value of my property uh, increased from 11,592, which is the 25% of a, a chapter B. 61B. 61, yeah. Yep. Okay. All of a sudden, it increased, and I got another bill for $471 for the second quarter, for the second half. What? What is that? Oh, my God. Look at this. Uh, from a value... If that's October, it's actually the first half. Well, the October billing is the first bill of the year. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm just looking. The value mm -hmm. what used to be 11 or so thousand maybe going back 51 years when we moved in in 1966 we bought this place uh, this 20 acres in 69 okay so 51 years it sat there got relatively very little taxes on it and then all of a sudden kaboom uh all of a sudden it it uh, tripled in value so i filed a abatement here it is. The if I remember correctly, the abatement was denied. Yeah, yeah, denied. Ooh. And the the reason I asked why did my property increase or triple in value? Mm -hmm. And they didn't answer that question. They just said denied, and you're lucky that we're not charging you for 51 years worth of triple taxes. The argument being that all those years it should have been considered a buildable lot. Apparently, apparently, is so, it a buildable lot? The wind? No. Well, I would, I would, I had suggested to Lee that this should have should probably have a site visit, um, to see, because I know one of the arguments is the amount of road frontage. Yes. Um, okay, the road frontage is in the deed, and it is twelve. Feet. That's actually not the entire road frontage, though. It is. It is. Okay. Because that's why I said site visit. The... Lee thinks it's 56 feet. Still. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, for a back lot, that's oh, acceptable. So... Back lot with a shared driveway, that that would be. No, it's not a shared driveway. This well, is the... no, no, no. It, it, it would. We could you put, put a shared drive in? Right. No, we couldn't. I mean, our driveway is. Is uh, quite a I don't know how many feet away from mm -hmm. it, so it's not shared. Well, then, then it could be a separate driveway. Then 
No, and well, what, if it was if 50, it's, if it was 56 feet. Right, right. But she says it's 12. Lee, yeah, Lee was measuring it on the GIS and she 12 feet. said it was that the 12 feet was only part of it because you know how the, the deeds read with each angle. Right. It's 12 feet to here, 12 feet to here, 14 feet to here. And it's not, it's by yes. angle. So Lee's understanding is that it's more than 12 feet. I suggest a site visit. I'm not an assessor. I can't, mm -hmm. but as, as the one okay. hearing both sides to measure. But, but yes. in 21, stick to your well, analogy, in 21, the assessors at the time said, apparently they just noticed that what they thought to be true, which was that it was a buildable lot. And that's why it, it increased in value so much. And they wouldn't grant an abatement at that time, arguing that yes. it, it couldn't be construed as a, as a yeah. buildable lot. Yeah, Lee printed this thing out for me. Mm -hmm. okay. And okay, she came up with all map. kinds of sizes. But our driveway is way over here. Mm. And the, the mayor's driveway is way over here. And this little piece is mm -hmm. 12 feet. And this is, this is a yes. separate and lot, right? This that bit. is the lot. And the lot actually extends down through here? Yeah. That's not a right-of-way, yeah. that's the actual no, own that is, land. yeah, it's 12 feet mm -hmm. down to the... And it's possible, possible that Lee was not here. Um, the... Um, Thing was signed by you and it would have been Malcolm, Malcolm. It would have been and Malcolm. Lee. Lee name. wasn't here. I think that's her. It's not Lee's name. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so it was maybe a time. First of all, there was also a different program came on. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Lee wasn't here. And she know, knows everything about this place. And then Malcolm probably wasn't feeling all that well. I don't know, you know. But, but, but they, they denied your request. Yes. So you the, paid. If they denied, the request was very rude. You know, they didn't answer my question. They just said, you're lucky we're not charging you 51 years worth of. So in, in 21, you paid more? Oh, since then, I've been paying more. Until okay. this year. Until this, and this year, year, it automatically reverted back. Yes, all of a sudden, voila! Look at that; it's now back and to so being. Hence, now she's questioning amount. the previous three so years. I because... that somebody checked, and yes, indeed, that is a non-conforming back lot, or or whatever. Or <laughs> the program. Changed. Our new computer system, system changed, changed again, and it had it had a different opinion. I mean, she. Somebody in red is that that's 44. Lee. That's Lee. That's okay. Lee. So all of the all of the little handwritten things are Lee's. So it's and possible, it's it's possible that due to the angles there is more there. I right. guess that's what yeah, we have no. to look at. Lee believes that it's 44 feet. I'm, I was mistaken when I said 56. Uh, I'm the newest kid on the block, but it yeah. sounds to me like the two changes corresponded with changes in software. Computer software. Yes. I don't and think that, anyone except we have of what here. intentionally did that, Tyler. but we no, have the deed. And the deed does say yeah. 12 feet. But it doesn't sound like mm -hmm. human beings on the board discovered some kind of change or, or initiated. It sounds like it might have been. Oh yes, I totally ascribe yeah. it to so, and so mm -hmm. every year I come here and talk, try to get a meeting with the uh, assessors, and Lee says, Oh. Uh, you don't need to, I can handle it. Right. right. And so, so she go the second time I came, I mean, the first time I got a, uh, are the, I got are this. Are there pins there? Do you know whether there's, whether there's actually. Yes, uh, there is a pin that was about 10 feet from a telephone pole. And then, um, then you would count 12 feet. There's a telephone pole that the DeMeos mm -hmm. put in, and there was a pin. Unfortunately, you'd have to. Um... Yeah. You got that one? Here's another. That's another copy of the deed, if you want. So it does sound like the smartest thing to do would be for human beings to go out and look at and it. Look at it. Mm -hmm. But it is. In the deed, it says 12 feet. 
nothing has changed there. That mm -hmm. spot is the same way as when we moved in. And um, if you were to count from the telephone pole. Um, See, the, way, the way this reads, there's 12 feet and then yeah. another 12 feet and then another 20 feet. Yeah, but those are going up a no, ravine. This is, a, this is a lot more than 12, this is 113 feet. So this this has got to be along the road. Yes, but this is not along the road. This is already in. The 12 feet is where the, she has it in red. That is our tiny little right. slice. So we got 12 and 12. Yes. It's and it's a 12. very complicated little thing and it goes up an ink over a brook, up a ravine that you would have to climb with a mm -hmm. uh you could not I'd say we definitely some that well not I, really, yeah, I think I'd all say, we can do is just we gotta come look at it. Yeah. See if well, we can find the stakes. Do we have a metal detector to help find stakes? Well now's not, do, the, now's not, not, now is not a good time yeah. to do that. <laughs> and not no. No. And Lee kept saying uh, uh, she was going to do something before last October, October of 23. Mm -hmm. Or was it 22? Right, right. Maybe it was October of 22. I mean, this has dragged on so long. It's now three years. Um, you know, it's, it's incredible. And so there's two questions then, right? One is, is it 12 feet or or, or is it 44 feet? 44 feet. Yeah. And then if it's um 12 feet, you're it sounds like you're asking if there's a way you can be reimbursed for the two or three years of yes. extra taxes. Yes. And it sounds like Lee was trying to figure that out because that's yeah. a, it's an unusual circumstance. Mm -hmm. so, um, so it's just trying to figure out if, if we went that route, how would that be done? Right. She was going to contact DOR to find out that if it is an error on the assessing end, if an abatement can be. Right. It's typically abatements are only granted like within a year of, of the bill being issued. Correct? Exactly. But we're looking at those other things that popped up that yeah. are way more than also. Right. Okay. All right. And we so, don't know if we got an answer from the Department of Revenue yet. I do not know. Okay. I think that one goes. Okay. So I think the best we can do is to take it under advisement and um, maybe do a site visit. Mm, okay. Either before or after we hear from the DOR, right? Um, well, right or now there is snow banks. Yeah, I was going to say we may have. I mean, it, well, if we're lucky, the snow will go away before we get more. <laughs> No, I don't. I wouldn't count on that. I wouldn't count on that. I say we. It probably wouldn't be accessible to the end of March. Maybe the beginning of April. Yeah. I would say spring. Okay. Well, luckily that time will be here, and yes, in, in you know the wag of a lamb's tail. Yeah. Plus, okay. we'll be once again converted to a new computer system. Mm -hmm. So whatever the decision is can be entered in there and hopefully yes. it'll stick. Right. And I'm just wondering how did this come about that all of a sudden it went back to how it was 50, uh, that, know, 50 that, years ago. I understand how it might have changed because it was right at the time that we they did the conversion. I don't understand the how it went well, I, back. I can, we had so many problems with the Tyler software this year, so many bizarre things it wouldn't I wouldn't put it past the software to have done something like this no so that's where we're at and hopefully yeah. that's I appreciate you coming in. acceptable okay. and satisfactory then well Lee said she would look at it either this fall or last fall uh, I mean last fall or the fall before I never did Okay. But she had problems, and uh, okay. even know, she, I'm sure she had yeah. other. Even though hands to worry are going to be changing and things are going to be going on, I will make a note on my paper calendar. Okay, you do to just remind you guys because I don't know if at that time I'll still be here, mm -hmm. but I'll make a note to. Uh -huh. And then what would be the procedure? You would. We would 
go with the deed and see if we can find some posts or stakes. And I mean, we don't need to look at the rest of the property. All we need to look at is just the road frontage is yes, basically, the road frontage, basically what, what we need is. to look yeah. at. Okay. <clears throat> and what it's worth, I just put it in my calendar. Oh, good. I put it on April Fool's Day. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That's really thrilled to me. Okay, but I'm out right. of your hair, so thank you, Barbara. Okay, thanks for okay. coming. Yeah, it could have been solved if Lee had let me come maybe earlier, but maybe not. You know, I think that it was, there was a lot of confusion here. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Do you need a hand with the doors? With the doors? Yes. Why? Uh, Just she, asking. She opened them for me. Okay. Oh well then. Okay. Never mind. I stand corrected. Okay. I am schooled. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you'll get in touch with me when you're coming. Yes. Yes. You bring a bring a uh, measuring tape, tape measure. A tape measure. Always. We have plenty of those. Uh, bring a um, to find the pin. To find the pin. Because it was. Sure. A, Do we? Does anyone was, have, um, have one of those? I think I've done. It was um, surveyed bef between the Gorman selling it to the DeMeos. It, uh, the DeMeos property was surveyed. Okay. So that's when the pin went in. Okay. Okay. And I, right. I have all my things and I put my um, listing. Oh, thank you. Listing on, the on the counter. Perfect. Thank okay. you so much for that. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. For Take care. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Drive home safe. Bye bye. Okay, mail invoices. Like that. I completely forgot. Um, I don't have any mail. I didn't double check to see if Lee had pulled any last week, but she didn't mention any to me. We do have lots of invoices. Um, uh, basic Marshall and Swift, and the Mohawk is for um, three toner cartridges, I believe. And that is that's what we buy. That's or is it, that it's shared? it's Lee's turn. I bought the last two. Okay. All and right. she bought these because she went through an entire cartridge printing property cards. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> okay. All right. Um, then we have one from Roy Bishop that's coming out of the valuation program, hence the separate bill schedule. And then we have a stack of WB Masons on a separate schedule because these are electronic payment. And this is split between regular assessor's office supplies and conversion supplies. Any questions? None. I think we need all these office supplies. Well, most of it's on, you know, conversion stuff. But yes, we do need toner. We do need to pay Roy. We yeah. <laughs> and we do need the supplies. So I guess I'd move that we pay these logical bills. <laughs> okay. Second. All in favor. Aye. Okay. I uh, just I need, need you to want, sign them. Just the chair's signature. Yeah. Can I join you in the meeting? You may. Hi. Hi, George. Good. Hey, um, how did I take all this? <laughs> Your next topic we have one survey, not even a lot survey, it is the um, survey of the cemetery area at the Brothman place. She was working with me as the Board of Health on a green burial plot on their property. And one of the requirements was to have the plot surveyed out. So this is the survey of the plot. Just the plot in Just, the cemetery. You no, know, in they're putting a, a cemetery adjacent. No, this is on this is on their property by her riding ring. Oh and okay. they're putting a family cemetery there. So it'll be her and Peter. And they're both doing green burials there. So they had to jump through yeah. all these wonderful this. hoops to do mm -hmm. this. So that's just a survey that goes with that and five or six permits. And that's all. No new listings, no sales. No, nothing. 
Yeah, not a lot. Solar. Mm -hmm. Janus, no, no. It's the upstairs. Janus okay. doesn't like solar? No, it's when. The voice is going to be loud in the hallway upstairs. Oh, he, up yeah. There. He'll sometimes think there's someone trying to sneak in. He doesn't make a peep all day. And then one, once it gets dark out, he thinks he has to there's go on duty. Like any new growth or anything. No, so it's not out there except for a, a number of years. That's when my dog will go out with my mm -hmm. Trying to scare of like. Don't come in. I'll put that just to the road. One more thing, and then these witness will be up. Okay. All right. We have an interesting motor vehicle abatement put together. Um, Jan had asked for us to abate as uncollectible a bunch of motor vehicle excise. Oh, shoot. I missed a personal property one. I'll have to do that one tomorrow. A bunch of motor vehicle excise for the year 2015 and 16. Right. So we can get them off of our books. They'll remain with the deputy tax collector on their books, but it'll take them off of ours. So basically there's two summary sheets. That's all she needs because no one's getting any money for these and um, her list behind it and her request. And then one normal abatement. <laughs> so that's the normal one. And this is, there's two summaries attached there. For 2015 and so 2016. So these are people who owed this money since then and they know where to be found and they just sort of given up on collecting. Pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, I mean, they're still going to be on a list if, some, if they try they, to register something yes. or do something, yes. get a marriage license or whatever. But we're taking them off our we're taking database. We're taking them out of our books and it'll stay with the deputy tax collector in East Hampton on his books. Okay. So So you need our two I, signatures? Yeah, on both. You want to vote on it? Yes, I want them on separate. Let's see if I'm on this list. <laughs> so, not me. Okay. Am I? No, neither of us are on the list. So, I guess uh, I guess we can sign this. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I move that we sign this list of bad debtors. Yeah, I was going to use the term dead. Uncollectibles. Debtors. Uncollectibles. Thank you. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. This is just the standard one. That's a, they traded it in yep. or sold it or something. Yep. Okay. On that one, I don't think so. It doesn't look like it to me. Yeah, that one, I'll need you to submit a certificate on the summary and the application. motion to pass that one bill. And I'll second that since I'm signing in. I'll pay the five. Kind of gather that saying you were signing it. Oops. <laughs> No. 
Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I guess do you want to sign the ones that were voted on before? Oh, she didn't do a summary. She only did certificates. Do I want do we want to we sign I can see my name on No, the actual certificates that Lee did up the certificates on the ones that you voted on, but she didn't do a summary to go with them. And I never looked in the folder to catch that. So we might as well hold on to these until okay. we have the summary. And I have Roxanne's application on top of the new abatements applications that have come in. Because she's here to discuss it, we'll put her on top. Okay. Well, I'll just see what you say. If you have any questions, <laughs> uh, yeah, please. It's big. It's big. <laughs> well, it is. There's, you have lots of supporting documentation, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have more. If there's a question. Oh, we know. No. <laughs> Can you just give me the recap? Oh well, um, my chapter property uh, land was not put on one of my parcels parcels so yes um so that's got to be done you mean the chapter 61 whatever 61a wasn't applied to your bill correct I we paid voted it. on it as i remembered it. yes oh, we did. It, yeah it was yeah she's been in chapter she just switched from b to a and it, and looks it was like on my house part but not on my second parcel with the barn it was it's full value so that needs to be um, put on there. Actually, Lee sent me an email saying she hadn't done it and she needed to do it if you want to see that. No, no, I'm just trying to understand what you're asking myself. Okay. And you're saying the, that... ch the chapter dropped off of her property. It was in chapter. It's all, it's been billed as in chapter for the past few years. Well, it years. was billed in chapter B. Right. But and it changed to chapter A. But she and now there was no chapter put right. on it. So... so it was supposed to have been in chapter A for this bill you just received correct and it didn't show up in any kind of well it got a per on um, i have two parcels so it was on the parcel with the house yeah. part of that land but the other parcel the larger one uh it was not on there so it was at just all. Billed straight out yes yeah okay and so you're asking us to grant an abatement that should have been applied to your bill in the first place correct okay yeah the yes and then I put in for an abatement for the correction of my um, effective effective year. year. Is something health. that you've been discussing with the board? Nope, that's Carla. Oh, that's <laughs> Carla's, oh. and which has already been discussed and voted on. Just needs is to she be fixed. logged in? No. Oh, she no. Because she hasn't gotten her abatement yet. Since. It, we, vote, we voted on it, I believe, in May. I think it was May 18th is when we voted on it. And then we were back in October. Mm -hmm. And because it was done in the wrong effective year. And right. And then the whole tax bill conundrum hit and yeah, everything got that's put on still the back burner. Since. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm, I, I don't know why I'm saying that. It's her problem. I mean, basically, it's all been voted on. Yeah. It's it's it just, more it, it's more clerical. Yes, yeah. it needs problems it, than it is. But it's been um, over a year now. Well, so, so did you understand that part? Uh, I think so. The okay. you're, you're here with two questions. One was the the, the field or the uh, the property without the house, right. and that's mm -hmm. yeah, that's pretty cut and dry. Yeah, uh, and now you're saying that you feel the house effective year of the house changed for some reason well um, when when the program changed when you went to tyler yes yeah it went from 1990 right up to 2000 right and then i came in for an abatement and you lowered it to 1995 as good and then we had several abatements and we, you changed my house to average and um, it still stayed at 1995. And if we go by the chart that you're supposed to be going by, it should have gone back down to 1990 instead of, and then when you changed it to average, it should have gone down to 85. And I put the chart in there to show you. So what year are you wanting to abate your taxes? This, this current bill that you just received? Yeah. And you think the effective age should be 1985 at this point? 
Correct. Because it was it was good at 90, 1990. And then it right. It seems to have bounced around in it bounced recent around. years. Yeah. Well, basically because of the program got messed up everything. Okay. We have a new program. Yeah, well, not yet we don't. Well. Not yet we don't. After several days, we'll have a change too. Like if you're 1995. But it was also a good um, condition. Then it got changed to average. So that should have lowered it also. Right. right. They changed the condition, but because they didn't change anything else. Because this particular program, you have to manually enter the effect of your bill. It didn't change with it like it should have. Mm -hmm. But it never got put back to 90 like it should have. It was put to 95. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is that you're asking for this tax year. Correct. For the effective age to go from whatever it was or is to so right to now it's 95. You want to drop it back to 85. Correct. You think that's the correct and that would affect the, the amount of the bill. Correct. Gotcha. And, and the, the data behind here is that is the check the tables and so forth. Yep. Okay. And then this shows. Before, oh, let me see what it is. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Glasses. I can't see anything. Same here. <laughs> um, so I put in. Okay. So it was. Uh, 2018, it was 90. Be good. 2019, it was 1990. Be good. And then 2020, it was 1990, be good. And then it was put down to average, should have been put down to average. And if it's nine, it was built in 78. And if it's average, it should be. The year should have went down, not up. Yeah, it should have gone down to that. Okay. So that's what I'm kind of. It will be interesting to see what it does with the new program. Because mm. that has the old chart in it. The new program does. The new program has the old chart too? The new program has a chart. It will, Support. yeah. It, Tyler does not. It works more like the camera where it'll. Do it the way it's supposed right, to. Right, but I'm that's for next. next yeah, yeah. That's not right. yeah, so I'm talking about yeah. this one. So, really, the only question before it's a good moment then is um, is what whether we want to grant these two mm -hmm. different abatements, right? Yeah. I think that's yeah, because you can't give me abatements for the previous years was it wasn't corrected right, right? Right, apparently, we're stuck that way. Yeah, um, is there anything else other than this that we need to consider today? For, for this abatement? I think so. I mean, the chapter is kind of a no brainer. That's, that's, that's yeah. yeah. It's just a clerical thing. Yeah. So, and, so I, I, and this application is for, for both of the requests? Oh, it's not I, clear. Yeah. yeah. For both. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I checked Excellent two things. I, I put two things. Overvaluation and correct usage classification. Yeah. Okay. And if and when we approve this, then your bill gets recalculated. And then you get, I would get an abatement. Get an abatement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, unless I'm missing something, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't approve this to you. I don't see any reason. All right. Then I could move that. I can make that motion. All right. Second that. Mm. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. It's not our calculation. I don't know what the calculation is. No, no. That, Ooh, that's... I didn't know what well, it says. What do you think it should be? And I think, I don't know what it should be. <laughs> I know. Nobody ever knows that. Yeah. All right. What I would like it to be? <laughs> yeah. Same as mine. I don't know. That's a different story. Yeah. All right, so where's our signature requirement? Um, you Back don't, to, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, you yeah, oh, yes, no. yeah, so you would just check granted in today's date, and, right, or I can, I'll finish that part. 
Seventeen. I can check granted. Okay. I have to say that's the easiest session I've ever been in here. <laughs> well, I mean, the reasonable requests. Mm -hmm. So, all right. All right. You want me to leave? Well, well you don't have to. You don't okay. Have to. Okay. Okay. Paul is basically the same deal. One of her parcels, the chapter did not show on. I still would like Lee to review this because I helped fill it out for her before we go finalize on that one. Okay, the other one. Yeah, because Paula's was the iffy one. It was, we found that she shouldn't have been getting chapter because the parcels were deeded differently. Mm -hmm. And, but she jumped through loopholes getting them deeded identically to keep it in chapter, but then she was billed out of chapter. So she's but you're, so I don't know if Lee took it away for that year for this one fiscal year because of that. Right. Well, I'd rather wait yes. talk to Lee. Yeah, definitely. Definitely on that one. She received that one, so I didn't I haven't seen it or reviewed it. So I can't tell you what it is. Uh, I'm looking forward to changing software again. See what little surprises that kicks up. Mm. Good luck with that. Hopefully it's not like when I switch to Tyler. Presumably better software, so you hope that mm. you come out better. But still. Well, it is it the one nice thing about it is that most of the surrounding towns use it. So it's it seems it's, like you'd have some support. Well, exactly. I mean, I'm more than happy to go sit with the assessor over in Ashfield and say, How does this? How does this? Mm -hmm. Exactly. What what have you found? The tips and tricks that you've found that makes it work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saying essentially it's too much acreage. Well, I don't is this the one that is she's asked she says 14.5 acres on the tax bill twice. Is that back where we're no. it's just the it's, yeah, who is this? This is this is this, this, this. Oh McCure. Isn't isn't that just got to do with the way it's read? Yes, and even though even good. though the figure is right, the acreage is wrong. Oh, wait a minute. No, I think this might be two different. Two different land acres. Acre, got two different things. Land age, her land is only nine acres, right. but she but was billed 14 and a half acres. Twice. Yeah, that, well, the twice is. The twice might be the tax the twice is the form. Tax form. Right. The twice is the way it's doing it now because it shows the value on the first four and then the value on the remaining, yeah, but it shows it's the, the same total. Number. Yeah. Right. That's very complicated. It is very complicated, Um, but she does only own nine acres right so what she's really asking is is an abatement because she doesn't own 14 acres she owns nine right and she included her survey with her acreage fair enough is great so what are we actually abating i mean she i don't want to abate the four i don't want to land acreage is only 9.012 as of 323 23 14.5 acres yeah the bill twice is that's I think that, that's yeah, that's way. just the the way the, the program was working. That's yeah. confusing. It sounds like for some reason she was taxed for an extra five acres. Mm -hmm. Plus or minus. But the way it's written, how can we abate it? You would whatever the difference between the 14.5 and the 9.012. Which is what 14.5 minus 9.012. So 5.488 acres is the difference. So that is only back land, basically, that we're abating. Is that correct? Eight, eight. Well, Lee would have to go in and recalculate this as a nine acre lot and just abate the difference. So the first four acres would still be the first still four acres. Yep. Yeah. 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 Make a motion. Um, yeah, as oh. soon as Lori's done writing her notes on there. I was just I just put down the 5.488 yeah. acres overbuild. Well, I'd move to grant abatement to this taxpayer for the, for the difference acreage. in acreage uh, oh. she represents. 
All right, second. All favor. Aye. 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 Oh, that's right. Scott came in with that. I remember now. Another one is on besides that. I don't think so. He just attached the bill on the survey. He surveyed off a hunk for his daughter. Mm. About 5.488 acres to be exact. Get through the blankets. Mm hmm. I mean, there's others that are waiting for site visits. Well, just me now. <laughs> just me now waiting for a site visit. And then others that need more work on them. That okay. we had. We I, can't, uh, Lee's not here, so we can't discuss them all. The ones that need more. Oh, the site visit them, you did. Yeah. She and I did. The, oh. Oh, that's right. It was just. That was on that one. Right, right. Yeah, right. So we can't, I can't really want to discuss that. You're right, because it's just you. Okay, so that's that's it for abatements. That's it for abatements. The budget. Um, you have copies behind here. Don't I'm not sure which one is the one she submitted. Well, she is gonna go, she's gonna talk to Monique again, right? Yeah. yeah. I I think they're almost the same, but there's different explanations and different calculations and they're the only thing that varies is the um, the salary, I think, for the administrative assessor. The stipends are the same. The uh, site visits are there, good, and supplies. Did the salary go up with the administrator? It de it's going to depend on what negotiation. The, the experience. The amount changed because we combined the money that Laura is making. Yep. And the money that he was making into one person. And we, yeah, we've advertised for a new person. Yeah, so, yeah. So, how much of that will depend on the negotiations? Right. And mm -hmm. how, yes, so how much is used will depend on mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. So she, they've already gone over this, so I'm pretty sure so there's some mm -hmm. back and forth left there too. Yeah, the meeting with the select board and the finance committee is in mid February. Do we actually need to vote on it or is this just no? I think she I think she initial, I guess. Yeah, I think she just wanted she may have had a speech plan for it, but I know she wanted you to review them and you can keep those copies. You don't need to. Okay. I mean the only real wrinkle this coming year is the money that's for the change of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, they, they vary a little bit. So I am guessing that this is the one that was submitted because it's got the it's got the money for the site visits included. Of course I could be wrong. But well, no. Yeah, okay. it took it, it took out the yeah the, it took out the money for the new training and added money for site visits. So, yeah. Do you know anything about the program the, conversion or how that's happening? The tablet's here. The tablet's here. I know the tablet is here, so that's a plus. It's in the vault, still in its case. Mm -hmm. Um. Roy has got things operate <clears throat> operational now. I believe so. 
well, I mean, we put the new computer in and they were having all kinds of trouble with it, right? Yeah, they, they were. I think it's working okay now. I mean, I asked Roy last week if there was any reason she couldn't go to using it 100% because I bought cables to get both monitors working. Mm -hmm. And he said he didn't know of any reason she couldn't move into it 100%. But that doesn't, you know, because the new program is web-based, it, right. it doesn't really matter. Mm. Well, that's the update. That's all I know about it. Yeah, I haven't heard anything more. Patriot sounds like they're doing what they do in the, what they do in the background and, and, you know, we'll be getting... Are we are have they begun or are we still in the queue? I, I that I don't know. I, I don't think they've started on us yet. No. Okay. Um, and with, That's scary. With respect to the administrative assessor search, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to double check. I mean, I'm going to double check, but as far as I know, we've, we've run ads now in the Mass Municipal Association, the County uh, Assessors Association, the Mass Assessors Association. And the recorder in the Gazette. What I haven't done is indeed.com because it costs a fair amount of money. Um, and I wanted to see what kind of results we get more locally first. Mm -hmm. Because we can do indeed anytime. The one I saw was from Kansas or something. Yeah, we got one. one right, but she wow. has done, she's worked in Massachusetts and New England appraising. Yeah, and presumably she wants to move here, but yeah, I haven't. Yeah. Acted on that. That was the only one that I saw. That's, that's the only response I've seen so far. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to check the ads to make sure that they all are running where they're supposed to be. Or that mm -hmm. The county assessors organization was supposed to, I asked them to send it out on their mailing list. Um, but I thought I should follow through just in case the request got lost. So that's all I know. One, hopefully we'll get more action when we shake the tree. I hope so. Hope so. All right. Check that one off. Any other business? Yes. I gave you um, a thing that Lee wanted you to look at. It's, I believe it is the um, annual report. Yes. Yep. And she said, could you please show the attached to the fellows for their approval and or edits and then send to Adam. And then also, could you ask one of them if they are able to attend the department head meeting Thursday at the grammar school, which is tomorrow at five. You're already there, aren't you? I'm going to be there anyway. Yeah, you're there for the planning board. Um, usually about five minutes. And she says it would be a good chance to get those maps to Ron Sweet. I don't know where those maps went. They were. Is that them? Looks like. All right. Well, I, right there. I have to go also. What so. are these maps? They're. Um, the previous year's um, any tax up, maps. Any any updates? Well, this is for the previous year. We give them right. the, the old year when we Up get the street. new ones in. Maybe I misheard that. For the tax maps, which have all the parcels. All the, proper, all the parcels of land. Who, who wants these maps? Ron Sweet Ron gets Sweet. them. What the highway superintendent. For what purpose? The survey maps? Be, I, he yeah. always has. Okay. Uh, I mean, why. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess so. He knows whose property he's digging on. <laughs> well, so maybe because know. maybe it's he isn't notified if somebody divides up a parcel and you know, mm -hmm. and for you know, whatever reason, the highway department may need to know. Okay, when somebody <laughs> does that, I, I, guess. I know. I, I, I know he's always got them. Yeah, so. he always gets the old right. one. The planning board. There's a set that's in the in the up in the planning board box, and the old set goes to Ron. Okay. That's that's all I know. Well, one of us can bring those while we're going to that meeting, you're saying. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're going, I, I've got something on. So yeah, I've got to be there for the planning board anyway. So okay. I can I presume I'll tell them what I know about the software changes and mm -hmm. that's probably the and the and the administrative personnel changes, right? Those would be the two big things that are going on yeah. this year and into the yeah. coming year. Make note that I will grab the maps. That way, you don't have to worry about stopping here first. And I could use this information, sort of summing up this year's tax levy data. Mm 
just read in the paper today that housing sales are way, way off in Massachusetts. Uh, yeah, they're, how? they're selling so much higher than what? Yeah, it said that it was down 22% over 22. The the amount of sales or the cost? The number, of, number of sales. The number of sales. It has dropped dramatically, but we don't, nothing's being listed either. We don't have anything either. for sale. Yeah. Anyway, to speak of. We've got two houses. Well, open courses house? Um, that is not listed anymore, so I believe it's contingent. Hmm. Or the k -Pop. Yeah, so or that. Square away that. Well, I don't think HUD will give up. <laughs> but there's that one house on Sabins Road and still the camp on Roaring Brook Road. Well, I got an inquiry about that, by the way. The camp? On the planning board, I mean. Um, the one on Sabins Road? No, no, no Roaring camp. Brook. Roaring camp. Um, this gentleman who was asking the planning board what he could or couldn't do on that property because he wants to do a campground. It is a campground. Right. So the answer to him was pretty much <laughs> pretty much okay. Uh, <laughs> but he was talking about primitive campsites and possibly um, RV hookups. Mm. Um, so the RV hookups might be tough because then you're talking water and well, I pointed out to him that he'd have to be talking probably to the Board of Health and the Conservation Commission and and the county building inspector that's right yeah yep. building commissioner yep in addition to the planning board because you might need special permit it depends i guess so anyway yeah. there's still interest out there apparently there is there is it's just it's a big piece of land and part of it you have to cross private property to get to part of it so it's kind of inaccessible you're buying land that right a fixed a church campground yeah in Road. yeah there is um the waterworks has right. land in between the two parcels. Oh. And there is no deeded right of way through it. Oh, geez. So, what good is it? it? Well, that's for this gentleman, his surveyors and lawyers to figure out, I guess. Yes. I was exactly. simply telling him what was probably allowed and not allowed. I'm surprised the waterworks hasn't inquired about it. They may not even know. Yeah, I'm surprised Everybody's. they haven't picked it up. Yeah. Yeah. But at least that back lot. Yeah. Well, maybe they've got it locked in, so why why buy it? <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, for what it's worth. For what it's still worth. interest in that lot out there somewhere. Good to know. All right. Anything else? Um, not that I can think of. Nobody's on. No. Okay. Can you make a public comment while you're here? Um I think I said everything I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess motion to adjourn. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll make that motion. All right. I'll second it. All in favor. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Aye. After six. Thank you, gentlemen.